How's it going everybody? John McLennan here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Waiting on the World to Change as recorded by John Mayer on guitar. This song has an awesome gospel-y sounding chord progression to it, and I personally think that John Mayer got this from People Get Ready by Curtis Mayfield. And if you haven't checked out that lesson here on my channel, I'll link it up down below. But the chords are almost exactly the same, just in a different key. Curtis starts out in D flat, and this song is in D. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step, and if we can get over 500 likes on this video, then I will do an entire continuum series where I break down every single song on this album. So if you would like to see that, hit the thumbs up button. Now before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack, and these are some PDF handouts and some downloads that you can get that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're gonna get so much more out of each lesson when you can follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you, and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Waiting on the World to Change, as recorded by John Mayer. Now we're gonna start off with the main chord progression, or the main groove here, and it's just four bars long. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So we're using just a couple chords here. We're gonna start out way up high in the 10th position. Now these chords that I'm playing and the chords that John Mayer plays a lot are these thumb style chords that come out of the Jimi Hendrix school of guitar playing or people like Curtis Mayfield or Steve Cropper. Now here we're gonna put our thumb on the 10th fret of the low E and then we're gonna play starting on the fourth string, 12, 11, 10, 10. And that's a major bar chord there. And then the thumb on the root note. And it's like doing this, but it's a thumb chord version. So here we're gonna play D, and then we'll move it down to the seventh fret, and we'll make it a minor chord. That's gonna go seven, nine, seven, seven, seven. Okay, so D to B minor. Now the strumming that I'm doing with that is down on the downbeat with the D chord, one and two, and then on beat two, I'm just kind of dropping my hand and getting this muted percussive sound, one and two. And then the B minor comes on the and, so one and two and three and four, and then again, Another one of those muted strums on beat four. So I'm kind of creating a backbeat. One and two and three and four. Almost like a snare drum. So there I went from a G to a D next. And that G is the same shape as this D. It's just on the third fret. So that's three, five, four, three. And you could bar all the way if you want, or the way it's written you'll see in the handout is just stopping on the second string. Then you go to a D bar chord, five, seven, seven, seven. That's with a root now on the fifth string. So, so far. Then you go A, B minor, G, then D. So that A is the same as the G and same as the D, just on the fifth fret, right? A, then move it up to B minor, then G to D. Okay, so that's gonna repeat. That's our main progression. All together, it sounds like this. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this.
Now from there, John Mayer adds all kinds of embellishments and sort of double stops and slides and things that are common to this, again, that Jimi Hendrix kind of school of rhythm guitar. <laughs> That's just a little example of some things that you can do. So we play that progression over and over, and then we play the chorus, and after the chorus, we have this little tag that goes, it's over the words, it's not that we don't care, we just know that they're fighting fair. Here's what it sounds like. So this next part, basically starts the same way, D, but instead of going to B minor, it goes to E minor, and that's the, it's not that we don't care. That's an E minor seven, so seven, nine, seven, eight, seven, starting from the fifth string, or you could include that low E as well. It's not that we don't care. We just B minor back to E minor. Okay, so that's the only variation. Then we tie this in with the second half of that main progression. So A, B minor, G, D. So all together, one more time. It's not that we don't care. Just know that the fight ain't fair. That's why we're waiting. Waiting on the world to change. And then we go back to the main progression again. Do everything again. Now after the second chorus, we do this progression again. It's why we're waiting. Waiting on the world to change. Then we go to the bridge. Now here we've got this really funky cool chord vamp for the bridge and it's really just one chord we're playing the root here on the third fret of the low e that's the g note and then john will will play this just two note basically uh like a dyad here we've got the the third fret on the low e and then the seventh fret on the fifth string so that's a bit of a stretch there one and two e and uh so what he plays for the groove is two eighth notes, one and, and then two E and, uh. So that's percussive strums, two E and, uh. And then you hit that open E. It's just sort of like, or it may even be muted sometimes. See how that's just a little muted? And that creates this groove. And it's just cool to kind of fill that in between the chord. like. And that's that Roy Hargrove uh, horn arrangement behind there on the bridge. Then you come out of this to the guitar solo, which goes back. progression. Congrats on making it through this lesson. Remember that these thumb chords are an advanced style. You could always take the same chords and just play them like as open position chords as well, just like D and uh, B minor. B minor would be a bar chord, but G, A, and D, of course, you can play just in open position. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave your song requests down below. And if you'd like to dive deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in another video real soon.